Welcome to the Harper Classroom, a series of instructional videos. This video is on the introduction to business forecasting. So let's start with some definition of terms. First, time series forecasting. A time series is nothing more than a business variable varying over time, like sales in dollars or demand in inventory items, or interest rates or stock prices. Time series forecasting is looking at patterns in the past of the time series and using those patterns to forecast the future. Cause of forecasting is looking at factors other than the time series that's influencing the time series. Now those other factors could be business variables. and Those business variables could have a high correlation. Uh, you could identify and hypothesize a cause and effect, but we'll use some other variable to forecast the time series. Well, the next is qualitative forecasting. Well, there's, there's a number of qualitative forecasting techniques, such as surveys and questionnaires, expert opinion, or the Delphi method. We will not look at qualitative forecasting techniques in these series of videos. We will look at quantitative techniques. And these quantitative techniques we'll be using as moving average, exponential smoothing, uh, seasonal indexes, and regression. Last is two terms, intrinsic forecasting and extrinsic forecasting. Now intrinsic is the same as time series forecasting because you're using the intrinsic data in the time series to forecast the time series. Extrinsic is the same as causal forecasting because you're using information outside the, the time series to forecast the future. So now, let's look at time series terms and techniques. I have a 4x4 four four table, and each row will represent a time series, and each column will represent a, a term that I'll define. Let's start with the first time series. In this time series, uh, we look at the overall nature of this time series is level, so we call it a stationary time series. Components is a cause of vari variability. Well, the cause of this variability is unexplained, it is patternless, so therefore we call that a random component. Now the technique of preference with a stationary time series and a random component is either moving average or exponential smoothing. So that's the first time series. Now what about the second time series? Well, when we plot that, we can see that the overall nature of this time series is no longer constant, it's increasing over time. That's referred to as a non-stationary time series. Well, the non-stationary nature of the time series is causing variation, and that's referred to as a trend component. But the variability around the uh, trend line will be the random component. So when you have a non-stationary time series with a trend and random component, the technique of preference is regression. And that's the second time series. Look at the third time series. When we plot the third time series, let's assume that this is quarterly data. So every data point represents one quarter. Well, this right here then represents one year. But that's a pattern, and that pattern repeats the second year. And the same pattern repeats the third year. Well, the overall nature of the time series is constant, so it is a stationary time series. But because we have a pattern that repeats every year, that's called a seasonal, a seasonal component. Well, the variability between the years here and here, the var variability between the years then would be a random component. And the te technique of preference would be seasonal indexes. So that's the third time series. Now finally, the last time series if we plot that, we see that we do have a non-constant time series, so it's non-stationary. So we do have a trend, but also we have a pattern, if this is a quarterly time series, we have a pattern that repeats every year in this quarterly time series. So here we also have a seasonal component. But then that pattern is not exactly the same every year, so we have a random component. So in this case, the technique of preference is going to be the combination of these techniques. We're going to combine the regression, the moving average, and the seasonal indexes. We'll combine all three. And that's the fourth time.
time series. So when we look at these four time series in subsequent videos, we'll go much deeper into the techniques, the definition of components, and stationarity. As we go deeper, I'll define a structure, a five-step problem-solving process that will go through step-by-step step to define stationarity, to choose your components, which is cause of variability, then select your technique. And once you have your technique, you estimate the parameters within that technique and then obtain your forecast. So operating within this structure will allow solution of problems in a structured, reliable, efficient, and effective manner. In subsequent videos, we'll go deeper into the techniques, the components, and stationarity with the problem solving process. In class, we'll go deeper into the concepts and the techniques and the applications and the implications. So that ends the introduction to business forecasting. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.